All right, everybody, welcome back to part number 12 of my Outer Wilds playthrough. It's good to see you all here once again. And we are going to jump straight back in to the action here. Last night, we um, we, we did some stuff. We um, we got... We, we learned about the burnt reels. Um, we found all the burnt reel locations. And... Um, we then went to the other place, which, thinking about it again, Dave, I've been th giving it some thought about what the uh, <laughs> what the um, what the place uh, we go to is, and I've been in two minds the last couple of episodes, and I've been vocal about it about whether or not it's a place we're actually traveling to, or a place that our mind and our consciousness is traveling to, and I believe it's the latter, for the simple reason that when you think about what we see when we travel there. We travel in those chambers where the inhabitants have all traveled as well, right? And on the stranger, all of their bodies, all of their physical bodies seem to have sort of almost been there that long that they've started to decompose and they're starting to perish away. They're all skeletons. Therefore, to me, I'm pretty confident when I think about it that it's our consciousness that's traveling and our body remains where it is. Hence why when something happens to our body um, via the events of the stranger, whether it be the um, when the, obviously the, the dam breaks and if we're in a, one of the locations that gets flooded or gets moved around and we get sort of bumped around, um, we wake up. Likewise, when those events happen as well, we, uh, I, I know you, you, don't, you don't feel it, but I feel I can hear the noises of the stranger when I'm in the other location, as well as like feel like vibrations on the controller when the actual things are happening. So I'm pretty, like I said, I'm pretty confident that it's, it's a place where our minds travel, our consciousness travels, leaving our body behind, or our physical self behind. Um, what um, is interesting though is where is that place so by that what i mean is of course they've all they they, they all seem to have come from this location where the location we travel to the these inhabitants these creatures all seem to live there and, and reside there normally and the stranger is their way of traveling around now what how does that work? Are they just like, do they, it's hard to explain. Are, are they a life form or, you know, um, in, the, in, are the inhabitants sort of like able to travel from like bodies and they're just using bodies as like vessels. So they have like a vessel, a vessel to travel around in the stranger, and then a vessel to travel around in this other location where we're traveling to. The only, the only thing I don't see logically, I don't know why I'm hitting something there. The only thing I don't see logically, and I can't explain about that, is us, because clearly we we're not from there. So if it was a case that they can travel between, they can travel between the different bits and plate, the, the different places and they can travel and use different like vessels, so to speak, or different um, forms of the inhabitants. Um, I don't see how we would be there, if that makes sense. And I know that we are ourselves there and not one of these other creatures, but the simple fact that when we picked up the version two and we blew ourselves up and we, you know, scared the out of ourselves last night when we blew up and we saw that shadow we could see our shadow so i know we haven't taken the form of one of the um the inhabitants of one of their people or one of their their creatures so um yeah um it's interesting it's interesting indeed yeah i pulled a talos last night by uh doing the challenge first night. yeah i did try and sort of like reference that when i did it um that you know i just cheese my way through it like the, that final challenge on Talos without even really thinking about it. Uh, if, you re, if you believe you may have the answers to that if you reread the ship log. Okay. Well, maybe we'll start off by reading the ship log. But without further ado, let us do just that. Let's jump in. Wake up. Beautiful morning.
Let's -a go. Rumor has it. Okay, so let's look for. Maybe check the entries on here instead. through that and I can't really see anything on there. This is something in the lab. Anything about the lab? It doesn't really say anything there. Maybe I'll find more out about it though, because the um, so they go around a green fire, and then we've got um, things have been damaged on this one. What do you think the partial circles around the slides are for the first slide of each reel? So these, um, these like the thing that I was just on right there, these things right here. Um, I feel like they're, they're almost telling us what the slide is about, potentially. Problem is, I don't know which way to sort of... Yeah, okay. Okay, so there's, there's three main things there then. There's four main things there then, isn't there? There's like the... I guess that's that's the eye, yeah? Yeah, so that's the eye. Then we've got the vault. And then we've got the lantern here. So this is probably the one that we need to look at more than any. You broke the game, Mika. It's shocking. Absolutely shocking. Who breaks games? <laughs> All right, well, we need to... Um, we Clearly, we've got two more locations to find here. We need to find out more about the sealed vault. But I suppose if we can find the information here... What's interesting is, though, right, there's four... There's, there's four... There's four topics of conversation on these reels, right? However... We've only got three secret locations. And of course, it's the one to do with... 
was... I have four secret locations? Well, this, okay, yeah, the seal vault. I wasn't including the seal vault. Yeah, um, I was just, I was just talking about the three that we uncovered last night, which was the uh, the archive, secret well, and then the secret fireplace. Intact Sly, okay, so they reveal the creation of a simulated reality modelled after their home moon. Okay, so the place we go the place we go to then is just a simulation. It's an alternate reality. We're not actually going to their home place. We're actually just going to a... Um, an artificial version of it. Okay. When do I think they created the simulation? I would say... I have to guess. I probably don't have to guess, of course. But... I'd say they created it... after they discovered the eye. We've seen what the eye kind of did to the Nomai's, right? I.e. the Nomai went to the, they, they went to the signal and then it sort of overtook the ship, they abandoned ship and then they were scattered across our unit, our solar system. So I almost wonder if the same thing happened to these guys here Obviously, the stranger stayed intact, maybe because it could cloak itself. Don't know, just clutching at straws and throwing out ideas. Um, maybe they knew they were in trouble. What if... What if the eye is what they've got sealed up in the in the structure here? Maybe somehow they were able to capture the eye and they've sealed it up. But as a failsafe to allow them to continue to exist, they created this simulated reality of their home location. Hmm. So many questions. Not enough answers. Okay, anywho, I'm going to leave the, the well till last, so we're going to head off over to the River Lowlands next, and we're going to see if we can't um, find this secret fireplace over here, and uh, see if we can't uh, walk our way through it. Uh, what did I press? Not what I pressed. Uh... Um, did I not mark the stranger on my map? I guess not. Right. 
sorry, a little out there with my on my cup of, tea, cup of coffee. To be fair, I'll be if if everybody that you gifted out worlds to um, is playing it at the moment, then uh, yeah, I can imagine that's a lot of playthroughs. Yeah, I've seen uh, I've seen you posting uh, quite a few spoiler videos, so um, I'll be excited to uh, to watch them once I'm uh, all done on my playthrough. You made an interesting comment, actually, I'll be about last night about the. Um, had I fired my scout onto the dam? Yeah, that's what I was. Um, I was quite interested to see actually that, like everywhere I've, I know I didn't f try a lot of places there, but it does say that everywhere I fire that surface integrity, surface integrity, surface integrity, integrity is um, 100 percent, which I find hard to believe. Anyhow, should we carry on? Oh, and I didn't pick up my artifact. I remembered. Hopefully my raft hasn't... Um... Vamoosed. Vamoosed? What on earth am I? Gone anywhere. It's a much better way to say that, isn't it? Hopefully my raft is still where I left it. That's probably the best way to say it. I guess the dam's alright until... Be interesting to see. Um, I guess the dam's all right until. Hey, I never looked at that. I never noticed that before. But there's my ship. Weird. Um, I guess it's all right until the little power cut. I wonder if that's like the time when the um, structure starts to kind of struggle and starts to break apart. Because at the minute it looks perfectly fine. Anyway. I would um, stand there and watch, but it's maybe a theory debunk video for another day. Yeah, it seems easy to test, but um, I'm in a bit of a rush. Well, not a rush, but I'm eager to get back in an experiment.
Just wondering whether any sneaky shady shortcuts. Okay. we're looking for a location where there is a fireplace oh there's the power cut the bridge first. I need to get some bearings and remember where exactly everything is. Yeah. yeah. The SLA on that is um, quite low so uh, we're not going to worry about that just at the moment. Movement over there. Don't think there's anything over there, so let's head over the bridge. I know we've been over here before. Yeah, this is the place where we the music comes from. It's like they're all being summoned. We've definitely been past here as well, though, um, later on, and that's not been active. So the music doesn't stay on all the time. I don't know if that's like a little, some form of like diversionary tactic we could employ to get around some of the... Uh, Inhabitants. Do you know what, Mika? I thought it was nice and cozy until I uh, got spooked on it last night. I could like follow one of these inhabitants maybe Where do they go?
don't know what the plan would be here though because I can't just rock up in there can I let's be honest maybe we can So, hold on, if... Okay. Huh. So, can they not swim? Or is it a case? Is it a case that they've been in this, this simulated reality for such a long time that their physical bodies have died? So, because they die. I wonder if because they died in the. Because they've died in the simulated reality and their physical bodies have died as well, potentially. They can no longer exist. Okay, we, we, we really need to get back there. Preferably not via the rapids. That explains, though, why the... It almost explains why the um, it does explain why the music stops. The music stops because they all die. It would seem. Okay, I don't know how much time I'm going to have left here. Where's my... what? Oh. Notice you're speaking a lot of uh, em emoji form <laughs> for this playthrough, LB. fully explored this either, have we? Well, I uh, appreciate it, LB. Up in down here. Yes, this leads to the well. Okay, so this is our path to the well. 
Now, we need to go on the raft first, though. There is a secret thing that we must activate before we're able to go in here, because there is one of those... That thing there is guarding. It is, isn't it? Don't think there's anything else to do on the boardwalk here. We're running out of time in the loop as well, which is always a, an issue. quick travel there. Don't know where that's coming from though. Or if there's another one that's doesn't look like there's another one that's opposite this one. Because we're running short on time, I'm just gonna use this as more of a an exploratory um Um, exercise rather than anything else. Let's see if we can find or uncover anything that we haven't already found. Another elevator there. We can't get to the other upper levels, it seems. I'm not sure we'll really want to go to the upper levels at the minute because it sounds like we're all of the um, the creatures are at the moment, the inhabitants. I feel bad for like calling them creatures, but I honestly I don't know. I don't know that we have a better terminology for them, and that's going to be me kicked out of here now, isn't it? Okay, well, we might as well just call the loop there. Because we're not going to be able to do anything else now but until we restart. So we'll call the loop and we'll start again. So, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say something. And... Uh, you, honestly, you, you can tell me yay or nay. Honestly, I don't mind at this point in time. Where we went last night, um, obviously, you guys made the comment, or Leo and LB made the comment, that I did it, quote-unquote, the cheesy way by stealthing past the, um, the inhabitant. From what I've just sort of like learned here now, would I be right in saying that you can get past the guy or the inhabitant um, by waiting for him to quote unquote die? Does that inhabitant die? at some point. I do we just need to wait for the right time for that um, for the water to Did 
going to make it look as easy as these landings now that I've uh, worked out the best way to uh, do them. He says, and then he can't get through the freaking hole. I wonder if it is just as simple as that though, it's like waiting for the dam to break and then for him to sort of die or vaporize, whatever you want to call that sort of occurrence right there. There's one thing I've kind of like, if there's one thing I have, I won't say learnt, but come to realize is that realistically anything you need to do in this game to get around some, an obstacle is re there is really a simple solution to it. And I just wonder if that is the simplest solution. Okay, so, I'm, I'm torn on so many different directions at the minute. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to completely ignore the fact that we was just in the village looking at the well. And we are going to instead we're going to open up this um, segment here. We're going to open up the door, come back through here, take the raft then to the location so we can walk through, which will then, I hope, as long as I time it right, and I should have plenty of time. We've got the best part of uh, 10 minutes, I think, to do this. Um, I should then be able to follow those inhabitants into that building. They should all die while I remain because I will be in a different location. My body will be in a different location. I, I'm not saying, like, referencing it as the bot. my body is the, the correct thing to do in the game, but I just feel... That's the easiest way for me to describe what I feel is happening right now. So, okay, this is what we're going to do. That's the plan. I'm going to extinguish that. And then we need to wake up. It's a beautiful morning. That water's not deep enough. Okay. That is done. Now we go to the town location. Uh, is there a raft? So I can just use my raft from here. It's fine. Nail it once, we nail it twice. That's how, that's how epic I am. 
This is this is how you mess it up when you're tight on time. Yep, there you go. That's what causes the uh, the dam to rupture. Alright, we've got about eight minutes until the dam breaks. Maybe seven. There's no no time for diddle daddle. Do I remember what the green things do? green things and a bit of um, elaboration on that might uh, be helpful LB ones are just open now I mean the lanterns Or the flames. Through the fire and the flames. Um, I think, aren't the green things something to do with the power? Aren't they what take the power from the sun and um, so yeah, in short, no, I don't remember. as fast as you can. <laughs> We've well, got plenty of time, I think. So we've got about four or five minutes. Until the dam blows, and then probably about another thirty seconds once it blows until um, that all goes. I'll read that in a minute. I'll be just want to really get to this bit first. Okay, so we're here. I don't remember which way we went now. Hmm. 
No! Big question, nobody knows. It's hotly debated as to what they are. Some people think they are solar sails since they open up at the same at the same time as the stranger starts moving away from the sun. And you can see them on your on the table you found in the dam area. Yeah. Uh no, I, I have not got enough time. I don't think. I'll, I'll try. I'll try. But I think we've literally got about two minutes. Um as for I found a shortcut, LB. Uh pass Yikes! <laughs> uh, honestly, I don't think I've got enough time. The problem is, um, I, I I know what I know what you mean now. Was that the dam? I think that was the dam. The problem is, I think if I don't get in there before the dam breaks and these guys die, I think they lock the door. And I dare say if I get to there now, the door will be locked and I won't be able to get in the building. Really interesting that like even I I tilt there as well. I will just have a look though while we're here and we got the time. I'm gonna have a look because it would be it would be prude it'd be wise for me to familiarise myself where everything is. So that I don't struggle so much and I'm not really um running around like a headless chicken. I just need to pinpoint where the... There it is. So it's up the stairs. Yeah, it's up the stairs. Let me go across here. So that's where that is. So the secret entrance. Somewhere around here, right? Because I was hiding over here. It's over here. Uh, 
obviously if I get here in like decent enough time it won't be a t an issue because I'll just follow the inhabitants where is this freaking Trying to like remember where I was. So I was like stood somewhere around here, this tree here. When I then followed them. Oh, I'm completely lost now. for well this was a complete disaster Am I even in the right, the right place? Okay, so that's there. That's there. gone further away from it, haven't I? It's got to be around here somewhere, surely, because that's where you come up. That is what you call a massive disaster of a loop. <sighs> Man. Holy. All right, I think we know, we know at least, we, we've got a plan this time. And our plan is to use the shortcuts. All right. We have 40, about 14 minutes to go through the first bit, unlock the shortcut, go to the second area, uh, activate the raft, um, get to the right location, hide from the inhabitants, until the last until the last one comes follow the last one sneak into the building and then wait for them all to die that is the plan 
we have a plan. Whether or not we can execute said plan is another question. But we'll see. We will see. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, I only go there because it's an easy access to an artifact, but I suppose we can just go and you we can go in the the building with the um where the ghost matter is, can't we? But you know what? I've already landed at the laboratory subconsciously without thinking about it. <laughs> so um we're we're going the long way, LB. <laughs> We are taking the long road. I just got so used to um, going over here. I mean, yeah, it would buy us probably about a minute, I suppose, if we went the other way. Save us a minute. So, if I fail this by a minute. You can rib me forever and never let me live it down. Coming in hot. Youch. It was always going it was alright going in hot there, but um I probably lost my raft now, haven't I? And cost myself even more time. Uh let's say
Okay, by my calculations, I think I've still got about eight minutes to go, so we're good for time at the moment. As much as I love bread maker, I've pretty much compl I don't eat a lot of it, which is a little bit of a shame. Bread's one of those things that I could eat and eat and eat all day. Despite it not being good for me. Activate the hidden place. Given that this is a simulation, I suppose that makes sense of like how the buildings just kind of appear and, and disappear. I suppose that makes some sort of sense of that. Either that, or the fact, you know, that the, the, when you think about the stranger, the stranger is completely cloaked. So, I suppose as well, these, some of these buildings may have cloaking devices on them, possibly. Although saying that, I don't think that's true, because I don't think you can get to them. You can't get to them, like, walk. I, I know we walked on that bridge that wasn't there, or the invisible bridge last night. I don't think you'd be able to get to any of these buildings if uh, they weren't there, so... Alright. We've got about six minutes, I believe. Looking good. So, it's cold tonight, which is quite nice. I think it was down to about one degree last night when we was uh, in here. Did I discover a way to see invisible bridges? If it was on one of the slides that I watched, then I must have missed it. Oh, um, yeah, but I can't put my, it, okay, that's, that's, that's a, a fair enough and valid point, LB, but I can't put my lantern, I can't put my thing down just anywhere, can I? I can't just put my flame down anywhere, unless I'm missing something else. Uh, yeah. Obviously, where I found the burnt code, um, I'm a little bit worried, actually. Do I not need to cross over a bridge?
don't know if this is the last go that's the problem I couldn't see anybody else come in hurry down a minute maker trouble. Let's can find somewhere to hide. Okay, they come out there. Might be alright here. Don't know though if there's another one coming. They, they normally come in twos. Okay. I think we made it. Also, interestingly, we can come here afterwards. So this is fake, right? Check in. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, let's try it. Fake fireplace. And of course that one is Burned off again. Oh, hold on, if... Can I... Uh, I don't want to try it. Can I... Can I go in the water? If I don't have my flame, can I go in the water? Alright. Let's look at this though first. 
Riding on the raft. What's that telling me? That I can jump off the raft in the darkness and survive? Or is that telling me that don't jump off the raft because you'll die? Confused. Okay, so this is the one about the eye. The eye sent out the signal, and the stranger came to it because the stranger, the inhabitants, picked up the signal. Now this inhabitant looks, I, I kind of looks a little bit distressed. So they chopped down, they, they destroyed their entire planet. So wait, the, the stranger... The whole race lived on the stranger? They, they completely destroyed their planet for resources to build this spaceship and then to travel to our solar system. Hence why they created... Hence why they created this alternate reality. This simulated reality of their home. Because they have no home to go back to. Oh, wow. Big sad. Um, okay. <gasps> Alright, well. I don't know if we've got much more to uh, explore here then. There is one other thing we can check out before the loop ends though. What happens if we jump off the raft in the darkness?
We don't need to find the codes at all. So these are they're potentially like false okay and now if we had time and we could go back we would see that one of the locks has been removed over there. Okay. Yet more big discoveries. Now, what I don't know is, and we will test this on the next loop, we're as good as done on this one now. Um, yeah, what I don't know is whether the... my train of thought there. What I don't know is whether or not the um, each of the different tunnels takes me to a different location or if that just if that's just the solution to one of them. That's what we're going to test out in the next um, loop. Interestingly though this here hasn't changed. That's interesting. I kind of expected that to be different. Given that we've seen how light affects the um our the the, the entities in our solar system. Also, was there more to explore over there? We just kind of like came straight over there, didn't we? didn't really spend any sort of time to look at or identify what else was going on over there. I think that might be a, that might be in a different location actually. Ignore that. Um, ignore that rhetorical question. We can't get back up there anyway. That's um, alright. Well, Don't know the weather. I can look it up on my phone. Anyway, there was a comment from me I didn't read. I did know I started make sourdough breads and being at university in general. Uh, I was one of those guys who did not do a thing. My mother and sister bought me even a t-shirt which said at the text, they call me lazy even if I have not done a thing. So you used to just sort of like, almost be like spoon fed everything, Mika? Is that what you were sort of trying to say? Kind of didn't lift a finger, and your um, your mum and your sister would kind of um, your mum and your sister would kind of um, do everything for you. All right. So this loop, the goal is 
Get to the tower! First. We'll get to the tower. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to start my timer until after I've read the ship log, because we're going to read the ship log first. Uh, we're going to go to the tower. We're going to um, activate or unlock that first lock. And then we are going to see whether or not there is um, more to be seen at other locations. The is full of intact slide rails deep on the ground. The container marked with one of the vault seals, but its contents have been destroyed. I found a slide rail that shows the origin of the stranger and its inhabitants. Intact slides reveal the sacrifice that was made to build the stranger. Yeah, basically annihilating their planet. And what I, I don't know if I did I say this before, but what makes it even even worse is the fact they've all gone to this simulated world to be at their home or as close to their home as they can be, and then the dam bursts its banks and everything is destroyed and Pretty much everyone's dead. I, I won't say everybody is dead, dead, because there is at least there's at least one location where there are still bodies and it doesn't get uh, flooded, and that's the one in the um, da, 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 where is it? Where is where is it? The hidden gorge. So any of the um, Inhabitants that have traveled to their simulated world from the Hidden Gorge should still be alive. They should still be alive. Um, I found a slide reel that appears to be some sort of error report. It shows one of the strange inhabitants jumping off a raft during a transition between areas and falling below the world. It's almost like a real game. All right. Start timing out. It's almost like the developers thought, you know what, some silly player might try and do this, so let's use it. Let's use it as an actual thing in our game. Alright. Note to self, do not go in the damage lab. The best way I can describe this game, Mika, I know obviously you're a bit sort of miffed as to what it is, the, the actual end goal. The best way I can describe it is the end goal is... The end goal is really simple. Not that we know what the end, the end game is at the minute. But getting to that end, ga end goal is complicated. I know that probably doesn't make much sense, but... You can effectively you can get we can get to the end goal within the twenty two minute time frame. The problem is we need to spend hours and hours and hours of playtime to be able to get to that end goal. And it's only through exploration and deduction, really, that we can really get to where we need to be. In short, that's I think that's the best way I can probably describe what it is we need to do. What it is we are doing. No, don't go that way. Save. I never actually thought about that, LB, but you're quite right that um, there is not a single loading screen other than the initial loading from the main menu. Definitely agree with you on that one. 100%. The thing is, though, you're backed up by, um, like, the, the ship log, which is 
absolutely fantastic in the way it stores and gives you um, the information that you need. So it's always if you even if you've like been to an area and you've forgotten something, it's really it's it's really good that you can go to the ship log and you can freely um, sort of identify you know what you can and can't do and it identifies like your the parts of the game that you still have to uncover yo poor ponky how you doing buddy how are those um how's how are those web games treating you how are they uh how have they been received They've been uh, successful for you. Gonna make an action-y game unless you can think of a better idea. How about recurse two? All right, so we know we can go on the first one. Let's let's try transitioning from a different location. We know obviously we can fall under the map here. Recursed is recursed too. <laughs> you don't need recursed too because so because everybody's still playing recursed because they can't work it out. <laughs> All right, let's see if this dumps in a different location then. Okay, no, no is the answer. Okay. Interesting. I really need to um, pluck up the courage to go back to the um, Ice Palace DLC. But man, when I tried that, that was... Um, I, I thought, like, Recurse was challenging, but jeez. There is some funky stuff on that DLC. Oh, I should have dropped down there. <laughs> yeah, I think I probably did two or three levels and um, I was like, yikes. This is... This is something. Okay. I guess I can't get up to these slide reels up here though.
Hmm. Surely I can't just walk over here. Yeah, there's the edge. Okay, so I wonder. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. shame no oh, you what do the French say imbecile or something along those lines sacre bleu <laughs> Cool shortcut though. I'll uh, I'll give it that. Interesting, we can't call the elevator. Oh, we can. Yeah, it's coming. It's coming up. It's coming up. Coming up. It's there. And it's coming down, but minor details. There isn't a way, though, on here, is there? I don't think there's a way to activate. It just. I don't know, it, it baffles me a little bit that I don't see what that podium's for here. I don't see a way to I don't see a way to activate it. Or use it. Oh, maybe. Okay. Okay. I don't think we need to use it. I think all it is here is it's just a way to light up the projector, of course. I've totally misread this, um, this setup here. Completely. <gasps> I 
Okay, so we've done that. So we need to spend a bit more time here then. We need to understand the well. Now, let's see. We've got about nine minutes or so. Maybe a bit less. But let's see if we can't find or remember where the thing is to disable the... I think it's somewhere around here, isn't it? So if we can't disable the... Um, the lights around the well. The race or a competition or competition podiums can help to rank the winners. It's always good to see the winner and the first loser. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, though, if I um. If I watch that footage back, LB, I don't think I'll feel like a winner. I think I'll feel like um, I was um, a little bit scared. The majority of the way around. lights coming from in the water this telescope is that oh that that's reminiscent of where they found the eye the first time, perhaps. Okay, well, I'm not seeing what they saw, and I'm in the water. Hmm, that's a bit disappointing. What I find interesting though is like I hear the footsteps but I don't ever see anybody above me.
Oh, I've done a loop. Huh. Really? Okay. So... Explore all up here. Oh, no, that's rubbish, Mika. Being sick sucks. Not that I'm sick too often. Okay, here's food for thought. It wouldn't buy me a lot of time. But what if we... What if we activate that platform? You know what? Let's throw caution to the wind, as they say. Is that the right is, is that the right expression for this? Let's just I wanna see what happens. If we just literally run for the well. I'm imagining not great things. But my my other my other hunch on this is and it, the way I was actually going to with that com that whole conversation before I got sidetracked on that was what if I activate the path uh, to get off the raft and then I use another location again to go back to there and then that last sort of minute and a half, two minutes we what I'm trying to say is if if the Nomai that are guarding if, if it's being guarded okay and it's the Nomai who are from this tower that are guarding it. In the last minute, minute and a half, two minutes or so, the water comes through, it floods the tower. The Nomai are going to die. Uh, not Nomai, sorry. The inhabitants are going to die. Um, therefore, if they come running when I trigger the alarm, they're not going to be there to come running. But I think I'm going to try... I'm going to try just running. Ah, oh, rip.
Yeah. You picked runner, but you also picked male runner. Therefore, we're not going to show a male runner. We're going to say runner with a male sign. Because that makes perfect sense, right? Where's my frames gone? Interesting. So it kicks you out. But it's also ringing the alarm bells back here. Well, I suppose it's ringing alarm bells in the tower, and the towers are connected, right? So, yeah, I guess that kind of makes sense. Alright, so what we need to do here, we need to activate this platform. Honestly, I don't know what happened to the frames. The frames just completely died for some reason. Oh, do you know what? I think I've... Yeah, I think I've seen a flaw with this. Because... Um, I don't feel like I got... I don't feel like I got kicked off by one of the inhabitants. It was, I just got kicked off because I shouldn't have been there. where the slide reel was either. Which is unfortunate.
Unless I was looking at the wrong side, but I'm pretty sure they turn to the right. Plus, is that. There's a destroyed building there. There's nothing on the left. So I haven't seen a way to get to that. It's in the back of the tower. I haven't seen a way to get to that, like, burnt out broken shack. Oh. Ask and you shall end up where you want to be. Did I disable it? Yes. No. Yes. Did I? No, it's still lit. The lights are still lit. What did that... Ah, what did that do then? Hello, Amika. Thanks for hanging. Hope you uh, hope you're not coming down with something as well. coming to investigate though, aren't they?
There's another way. Rude. Does that instantly reset the, the lights on the well, though? No. Oh my goodness, they're everywhere. Okay, I'm thinking... I'm thinking plan B. Also thinking not turn your light off while you're trying to um, get onto a raft. So it doesn't look like, if I'm honest, it doesn't look like they go and turn it back on. Also, we're stuck. Electrocuted. We're dead. Okay. Step one, turn off the lights. Step two, loiter.
Step four. Mark stranger on map. No, we don't need step three, because just like Valve, you know, three doesn't exist. The number three is fictional. We are only interested in real numbers. Perfect. Poi effect. Every time. Thing is, it's a lot of time to like loiter around and kill. I just feel like there's probably going to be. Well, I'd say probably. I feel like there will be a better way. The issue we've got is like these inhabitants aren't walking around with lights. We have no idea where they are. And that's a bit of a problem. say every time, but it's not been every time. So when I try and like do both of them at the same time, rather than just like landing on the roof and taking my time and doing it in two goes. has to be clever and try and do it all in one. I'm not clever, LB, because I don't think. I don't think at all. All right, step one. Do something here. Step two. Find the other place again.
I think it was down here, wasn't it? I don't know what I'm rotating there. Am I like rotating that to come back to here? Yeah, okay, that makes sense. One. Two. Eight to say, but I think there's five. There's five elevators up there. One. Two, three, four, five. There's either four or five. It seems. All right, I think. I don't think. I had already thought about this actually, LB, when I just I just went up there and I realised actually I haven't been all the way across here. Because we we ducked out last time, so Can't be seen without sh uh, what can't be seen without the suit. Oh, okay, this is a shrine to the eye again. Yes, yeah, so this is a shrine to the eye. Did I get a ship log updated? Or not? 
So yeah, I feel like this is a what we saw in the slide. This is a um, this is like where they discovered the eye signal, and it was at this point when they all saw it. Oh, okay. And when they all saw it, that's when they the decision was made to um, destroy the planet. And abandon everything. Alright, so what we're going to do here... It's getting chilly. It's starting to freeze up. It's time of year. Alright, let's go turn the lights off. Uh, oh, I missed the thing. Yeah, because that's the way back. Okay, we've done that, we've done that. Now, the plan is to now... Oh, well, we kind of come here at a worse time. I think I got I think I messed it up though. I think to do what I want to do I think I got to do it before the dam breaks. Might be wrong. I don't know that I can get up to the the place from here. I can, I can. It's all right. Okay, thought process for this is I now re enter. Uh, at an alternative location and then I have give or take three to four minutes leeway where that tower gets washed out in the hope that that tower will wash out uh, and get rid of the inhabitants who are patrolling that area that's the thought process here. Failing that, then... I guess we've got to try and... Um, get around some way, shape or form. Of course, some other way, shape or form. This brings me. Oh, it's over here.
I need to get down there though to activate that elevator. And I think to get down to there. Across the other side. Now I've I I I went from like saying at the beginning that I need to be um, I'm going to be loitering around. I don't think I'm going to give myself enough time now. I might be all right. Sorry for the lack of uh, ongoing commentary here a moment. I'm in uh, deep thought mode right now. Leave a worker, it won't. It's as simple as that. The small problem here is that I don't have, unless I can see some of the inhabitants, I don't have a clear reference point of when that tower is going to topple over anymore. But if it is to work, I should see green particles, like, for lack of a better term, flow up. Yeah, but my... I, I figured out the audio cue when I was traveling here via that tower. But now that I'm not at that tower anymore, I'm not sure... I'm not sure I know what it is. Maybe I will hear it. I don't know. Should happen in the next 30 seconds to a minute. See, what I was reluctant about doing this for is because it doesn't really give me a lot of time to get down the well. I mean, okay. If that has worked, that is it. We need to hustle.
It was a trap. And then we get caught by stairs, final boss. That's unfortunate though. Whoa! What? Is that a fake elevator? Oh. So, <sighs> we finished the uh, Starlit Clove Cove. So, okay. That works. That works. We got to the archive. But That doesn't leave us with a lot of time.
Hey, look, guys. We made it. Uh, clip on my phone so not to inter in so not to interfere with the loop and my timer on the loop. However, my phone's on one percent, so way. Because the other issue is, the other issue I've got, right, is we, I'm going to get interrupted in a minute because, uh, sorry, I digress, I'm going to get interrupted by my SQL in a minute, so uh, watch out for that one. Um, yeah, the issue I, oh, wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe there is a way around this. Maybe there is a way around this. Alright, so, I don't know, maybe, there's my SQL. What I was thinking was, if we lit the candles, right? Then, only the lanterns go out, correct? So would we still be able to see Or would there be enough light from the candles to help us navigate through? Maybe. I don't, I just don't feel like waiting for, waiting for the loop to end 
or waiting for that tower to be destroyed. Yes, it works. But the minute that happens, the loop comes to an end. And when the loop comes to an end, we aren't able to stop the time. So even if we get into the archive, we're not going to have time to read the information there. to find out. I think I fell in the water. Okay, well. Long story short, we're screwed. Long story short, um, all of our candles got turned off as well. All the cows have even been removed.
Okay. I think I cheesed it again. Oh my goodness, you absolute... Okay, that was water. <sighs> I may sound frustrated, and I am a little bit frustrated with myself, with myself, not the game. I would like to add. I gotta stop doing this because this is just Uh, I don't know. I'll be honest, I, I don't know. I don't know how to get past these last ones. Um, land in the water again.
Okay, well. Um, I'm not getting anywhere. I need to, um... I need to reevaluate what it is that I am actually doing here on the well. I think if we wanted to go for a um if we wanted to go for a a recon of that lower area then definitely we can take advantage of what's going to happen in a minute where the tower falls into the water and Like kills off the consciousness or whatever it is of the inhabitants. <laughs> what makes I think what makes this one so tough though is the fact that they don't use their lights. So it's really difficult to know where they are. It's just like getting past them and bypassing those two down below just before the lift of the archive that I'm not really sure. Well, assuming there is two. I suppose the um, I suppose the thing to try would be to the thing to try would be Seeing if I can repeat what I did a moment ago. Lure it up one side. And then run to the other side. What that would tell me is... Whether or not there is... Whether there is one or two of the inhabitants in the building at that point. Because we don't know that. We've seen one on each side, but obviously we got caught on one side, then we got caught on the other. Is it the same inhabitant, inhabitant on both sides? I mean, failing that, I honestly don't know... I don't know what else to get around there, because you... From what I remember, when we was down there, you have to go. You'd have to go either left or right. The middle is like a, there's a hole in the floor in the middle. I suppose. It all comes down to how far up those stairs or how far away from its post we can lure the inhabitant. Obviously, we stopped it at like the top of the stairs there where we was hiding. Could we lure it to there? And then pull back a little bit further to like draw it out even more then loop round and go down the side I, I I don't know I 
I don't know. And of course, if there is only one of the inhabitants there, then we lure it to one side, then we run down the other. A new note. How do we get past inhabitants in the well? do though LB but problem is I, I don't know I don't know of I don't know where I haven't seen anywhere to drop the lantern I don't know. Anyway, that is going to be um, some investigator investigatory work say, for our next stream. Um, for now, I want to say a massive thank you once again for everybody for hanging out. I really do appreciate your support. Um, so I'm going to stick to schedule. So we will be back with Outer Worlds on Monday evening. Tomorrow night we'll be doing a Portal 2 stream um, because um, it's been a very long time since we've done one at the usual time. I know a lot of people have been uh, tuning in recently to catch it. And uh, obviously I've been so engrossed in Outer Worlds. So yeah, Portal 2 on uh, tomorrow. Outer Worlds back Monday, Tuesday next week. And on Monday we'll... We'll look around a little bit more and we'll see if we can find anything around that village that we must be missing something in that village um, that's obvious or, or not very obvious. But yeah, we'll uh, definitely see what we can do. But guys, thank you very much for tuning in. I appreciate the support as always. Like I said, enjoy uh, the rest of Thanksgiving weekend. Hope you have a good one, and uh, if I don't catch you tomorrow, hopefully I will catch you next week. And until then, I've been Knock, you've been awesome, stay safe, and as always, guys, thank you, happy gaming, good night, bye-bye, guys.